and welcome back to Let's Play Mass Effect 2. We're on our way to uh, do Zaid's loyalty mission. And this is the Isma frontier. It's right over on your far left of the galaxy map. Straightforward to get to. And it'll pop up automatically once you recruit Zaid. We'll be landing on Zor Zoria. I really want to know how Zaid got Standing that. In the Blue Sun's communications. Stay tight and look out for ambushes. That massive scar on his face, and whether or not if he's partially blind in that uh, his right eye, the one that's all milky white. Anyway, I love this planet. I reckon this is one of the, the coolest looking planets, um, and missions and Mass Effect 2. Um, I found it really cool, like how um, they eliminated the Mako. Squad Bravo, a shuttle landed near your location. Check it out. The whole here we go. Keep close. Uh, driving missions, the Mako, where you land on a planet and you have to drive for miles to get to a a really boring um, side mission. And with this, all the side missions, you drop directly into the action. And all the side missions look just as good as the main storyline. Shot in the back and left to rot. That's definitely Vito style. Let's push ahead. They even got those monkey things from Mass Effect 1. And ruthless killing of monkeys. Oh, whoops. On my way. Gotta stop doing that. <laughs> I really need to figure out a really efficient uh, universal key mapping for all my games. Enemy. Just when I thought I had good cover. <laughs> oh, he's dead. That's Zaid. Son of a bitch. Pyro. Bitch. Thank you, Garrus. And we're sorted. Uh, I don't think there's anything else of interest. Maybe. Oh, wait, what did I just land on? Something. Yeah, medkit. That's about it. For this area. Just uh ammo and such forth. So we'll be moving on.
Vito. Sounds like he hasn't changed. Sounds like he needs to get shot. Glad to see you and I agree. I knew he was a sadistic bastard back when we started the Blue Suns. The Suns only got meaner after he staged his little coup 20 years ago. So, yeah, we have a past. 20 years is a long time to hold a grudge. A grudge? Vito turned my men against me. He paid six of them to restrain me while he put a gun to my head and pulled the trigger. For 20 years, I've seen that bastard every time I closed my eyes, every time I sighted down on a target, every time I heard a gunshot. Don't you call that a goddamn grudge? You survived a gunshot to the head? Yeah. And you survived your ship getting disintegrated. A stubborn enough person can survive just about anything. Rage is a hell of an anesthetic. Why didn't anyone tell me you founded the Blue Suns? Because it's not common knowledge. Vito wiped me out of the records. He ran the books, I led the men. Worked real well for a while. Then Vito decided to start hiring Batarians. Cheaper labor, he said. Goddamn terrorists, I said. We'd better get moving. They're at the southern axis. All squads mass at the gatehouse. Now! They know we're here. Bring it on, you son of a bitch! Well, I guess that explains the scar that I was wondering about. I can't uh, believe I forgot that. <laughs> The fact that Saeed got shot point blank in the face and survived. Not something you really should forget. Squad Charlie, Delta, mass of the gatehouse. And now things get interesting. The Paragon option is quite interesting here, but unfortunately you won't get to see that because I'm a badass renegade. Zaid Masani. You finally tracked me down, Vito. Don't be stupid, Zaid. I have a whole company of bloodthirsty bastards behind me, ready to kill or be killed on my command. Actually, take your shot. Give my men a reason to put you down like the mad dog you are, again. What was that? Gone nearsighted old friend. Burn, you son of a bitch. You just signed your death warrant, Masani. What the hell are you doing? Opening the gate. Next time you're gonna blow something up, I want to know about it first. Vito was confident. Had a lot of men. Now he's lost the home field advantage. If we keep up the pressure, no way he's getting out of here alive. You don't make a move unless I know about it first. This is my mission. Remember that. I came here to kill Vito Santiago. If you want my help on your mission, you better make damn sure that man dies today. You want him dead? Then he dies. I don't care what else happens, as long as Vito swallows a bullet. Well, well. Let's kick his ass, then. Good ruthless efficiency. Let's just blow up this entire station. I've never actually done the Paragon, full Paragon path on this mission. Because it's quite hard to get uh, Zaid's loyalty if you do do that. Help! We're trapped! We can't get to the gas valves to shut them off! The whole place is gonna blow! No time. Vito's probably halfway to the shuttle docks by now. I get why you want Vito dead, but is he really worth watching those people burn to death? I'm not sticking around to watch. We stopped to help these people and Vito gets away. 
And if it gets away, I'm blaming you. Let's get moving before Beto gets away. Glad you see it my way. No! Help! No! I hate having to do that. I do prefer to help people where possible. But in this case, it's just, uh, it's not really a viable option. 